these nations hate you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives. But why? I want to give all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Pashem Yahweh Shai, that's the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly called God and Jesus. All right, double honors to the apostles and the elders at GMS, and all you brothers in the four corners of the world pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. Alright, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Raka Kodash, Bakatum. Alright, and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that's the God of you Latinos, natives, and the so called Negroes. That's the true name of the God of the Bible. Alright? And all these nations hate you. This is an article that I found on CNN three hours ago. Right? Let me see what it say. It say why racism in US is worse than in Europe. Alright? Say though they were not Americans, they let me read from it. Last week in California, three black black people, which is so Do you know I'm a Muslim? Yeah, I do. What's your problem with that? It's just so-called Negroes. You know what? Let me play this. I don't like it. How's that? Your staff yeah. is speaking Spanish to customers when they speak uh, speaking English. The videos we're seeing where there's some aggression towards a Latino or a Muslim American or African American or just a person who appears black. It's just kind of what America's done for the longest time. And for whatever reason, the neighbor is called the police. Ma'am, did I say when the police would be on the way? What they have in common is just the anxiety and the fear that a lot of white Americans have about non-white people having like an equal amount of agency in this country. I don't like your religion. It says you kill me and I don't want to be killed by you. How's that? And my guess is they're not documented. So my next call is to ICE to have each one of them out of my country. Now with our, our current president and administration, they're, they're a bit more emboldened to voice their anxieties and their frustrations with, with people living in America who don't look white. Obama is a, kind of like an anomaly in the grand scheme of how America's always been. It's kind of reverting to a norm. If they have the ability to come here and live off of my money, I pay for their welfare, I pay for their ability to be here. The least, the least they can do, the least they can do. The only new thing I'd say is that minorities have more agency in America than we've ever had, so therefore... We can make the videos and we can be on TV and talk about these grievances and the... the... Anyways, these don't might hate you so-called. You, 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 you Israelites, you Negroes, these so-called white people hate you Negroes, right? But why they hate you? That's because you're the Israelites, according to the Bible. You are the most I chosen people, you see? You're special unto the Lord, and they envy you for that, right? Because you was the one that received the blessings from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right? Um, this is Deuteronomy 7 verse 6. It says, For thou art an holy people unto Yahweh, thy God, the God that, the Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the of the of the earth. So the heavenly father, Yahweh Bashim Shai, chosen us to be a, above all nations, all these people. And these nations don't like that. They know that we are special. They know that we are the most high chosen people. They have our records, our history. You see? That's why they come together to destroy us. Mm. All right? That's why they come together to destroy us. This And it was prophesied. They're giving us GMO food. they opening clinics for women to take abortion. they put in lead. All right? In our water and fluoride and polluting the air all right and and releasing different diseases into our neighborhood 
All right. This is um, Psalms 83 verse 1. Keep not thou silence, O Yahweh. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O power. For lo, thine enemies make a turmoil. Because oh, who is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Enemies is our enemy because he is our God. All right? And they that hate thee have lift up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. And who is the Lord's people? All right? Who is the Lord's people? It's the Lord's people. Yeah, this is Joel chapter 2 verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Why are you Latinos, you natives, and you so-called Negroes? You are the Israelites scattered among every nation. Alright? And you're going to come out looking like these nations. The Bible term you. Confusion of faces. Alright? And that I am Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. So, Israel is the Lord's people. Alright? And we should never be ashamed because... The Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the Creator of heavens and earth, He is nigh unto us. All right, He is our husband. All right. It say, um, eighty eighty three verse three. They have taken crafty counsel against Thy people, because the nation of Israel is likened unto a woman. All right, that's why Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Hmm. Is our husband. Let me get that real quick. This is true. Jeremiah 6 verse 2. I have likened the daughter of Zion to a calmly and delegate woman. You see? So, we are likened unto a woman. The Lord is our husband. Right? Um, back to Psalms 83, verse 1. Right? They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, all right? And consoled against thy hidden ones, all right? They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. And that's what they're doing. Alright, that's what all these other nations doing. Alright? For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. What's the next word for confederate? Alliance. Alright? The tabernacle of Edom, you so-called white people, and the Ishmaelites. Alright? These um, Arab nation, alright, of Moab. All these Chinese, you know, these then, you know, and and you and you go on with all these other nations here. All these nations upon the face of the earth, they don't like you, so-called Negroes. Why? Because you're the chosen people of the Most High, and they know it. All right, and you have to come back to your nationality. Repent, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So you see this? This is natural. All is written in the scripture. Alright? Let me get this one more precept. It says... Hmm... Malachi chapter 1, verse 1. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, said the Lord. How about Shemiah and Shai? Yet you say, wherein as thou love us? Because you, the reason you say that is because in the, is the, the condition that you're in right now. Alright? That's why you ask the Lord, wherein as thou love us? 
But the Lord is getting ready to raise up his people back, starting with his elect, elect men. 144,000 men out of these tribes. All right? Start with them and build back the nation of Israel. And it's, believe me, it ain't far from now to the spirit of Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right? And we are about to be lifted up back as the number one spot, as the number one nation upon the face of upon the face of the earth. They say it was not Esau Jacob's brother. And Esau, all right, is the progenitor of the Edomites, the so-called white people. All right, said Yahweh Bashim Shai. Yet I love Jacob, and I hate Esau. And laid his mountain and his heritage waste for the dragon of the wilderness. Alright. So this so-called white man, this Edom, these Edomites, they don't like you, Israelites. They don't like you Negroes, Latinos and natives. Alright. Um, let me get that scripture. Um is that Amos chapter 1 Amos chapter 1 verse 11 thus said the Lord for three transgression of Edom and for four I will not turn away the punishment thereof because he did pursue his brother with the sword and did cast off all pity these Edomites are about to show you so called Negroes no pity Right, you Latinos and natives, you will die out there if you seek their love. Scriptures say, Why trim is thou, thou thy way to seek love? All right, you won't die out there. All right, and his anger did tear perpetually, and he keep his wrath forever. You see, he hates you forever, All right. Get this one. Um, can Ezekiel 35 verse 5 because thou has had a perpetual hatred, that's forever hatred, which is so these Edomites, so called white people, and have shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword. In the time of the calamity, in the time of the iniquity at an end. So these Edomites don't like you so called Negroes. Alright? So get that stuck in your head. Alright? Don't matter where you go on the face of the earth. These nations don't like you. Alright? So turn back to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. If you like among you. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Bakatam Bashim Yahushai. Pray this video as a refined to the spirit. I will shine our bokari, I'm shalom.